defense minister has said Iran does not have a physical military presence in Syria. Those are Avigdor Lieberman's words. Lieberman says Iran has sent military advisors and experts, perhaps to plan for a future permanent presence, but there are no, as the expression goes, boots on the ground right now. Lieberman said Iran's strategy is to create proxies through Hezbollah, through Yemen rebels, through Syrian Shiite militias with imported mercenaries from Iraq and perhaps Afghanistan, but Iran does not have troops on the ground at this moment. Join me in our studio is defense correspondent Daniel Tsemak. Daniel, does Avigdor Lieberman's words contradict the prime minister? Netanyahu has said there is an entrenched Iranian presence in Syria. I would say it's a, it's an issue of semantics here, and I don't think that it does contradict what Netanyahu says, but it comes quite close to it. It's a really like nuanced it, phrase. It's, it's nuanced, here. yes. What we've heard in the past is that Iran is in the process of establishing such and such, or Iran is trying to establish a military presence in uh, in Syria, or even uh, if we look back to the BBC report of the satellite images that showed uh, allegedly military bases that are newly built. But they're not occupied by any soldiers. So these. So when you're talking about boots on the ground, it seems like he, what he's saying is, is consistent, that there aren't necessarily Iranian troops on the ground, rather proxies, as there are in Lebanon, as there are in Iraq, Yemen, and so on. Is that just as, just as dangerous for Israel's national security? I mean, just like Hezbollah you know, is, is financed by Iran, but it's a Lebanese proxy militia, it could just be just as dangerous for a different Shiite militia in Syria. Yes, Jeff, I, I don't think that what Lieberman is saying takes away from the the uh, seriousness of this threat in any way, rather qualifying who that threat really is. But as you said, I do think that it is absolutely still a very considerable threat that Israel is taking as seriously today when he made these comments as they did yesterday in previous weeks as well. Uh